फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सो फार एज द फाइंडिंग ऑन द पॉइंट ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन ऑफ द डिसीज इज कंसर्न इट इज एविडेंट दैट नो सर्टिफिकेट वॉज इशूड बाय द डॉक्टर बिफोर रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन रिगार्डिंग द फिजिकल एंड मेंटल कंडीशन ऑफ द डिसीस्ड इट इज ऑल्सो अपारेंट दैट द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन इज नोट इन द क्वेश्चन आंसर फॉर्म लीगल पोजिशन फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन इज दैट एवरी एंडेवर शुड बी मेड टू रिकॉर्ड द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन इन क्वेश्चन एयर फॉर्मेट सेंटिटी ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ डाइंग डेक्लारेशन इज मोर इन द आई ऑफ लो दैन द अदर फॉर्म ऑफ डाइंग डेक्लारेशन दो देर इज नो एनी जनरल रूल दैट इन ईच एंड एवरी केस डाइंग डेक्लारेशन शुड हैव बीन रिकॉर्डिड इन क्वेश्चन आंसर फॉर्म सेंटिटी एंड अथेंटिसिटी ऑफ द डाइंग डेक्लारेशन इज अटैच विद इट्स ट्रुथफुलनेस इन द प्रजेंट मैटर एडमिटेडली द डिसीज इन हर डाइंग डेक्लारेशन डिड नोट डिस्कलोज एनी फैक्ट रिगार्डिंग डावरी डिमांड क्रुवेलिटी एंड हेरासमेंट एक्सटेंडिड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ डिमांड ऑफ डोरी she simply stated that she received burn injuries due to fire caught her from the lamp if the first line of the dying declaration is minutely analyzed in context with the other facts and circumstances of the case and also with the sale deed said to have been executed in favor of the daughters of the deceased dying declaration becomes suspicious document the last line of the dying declaration clearly indicates that the deceased was under pressure prosecution witnesses have stated that no such dying declaration was ever recorded the trial court has placed reliance on their statements and disbelieved the dying declaration if for the sake of argument the defense version be taken into consideration that a dying declaration of the deceased was recorded then also for the reasons mentioned above the dying declaration appears to be a suspicious document thus the court is of the view that the finding recorded by the trial court regarding the dying declaration is based on the correct appreciation of the evidence available on record no interference is required by this court in the said finding as far as the letters said to have been written by the deceased and referred to by the appellants to establish the conduct of the deceased are concerned admittedly two children were born out from the wedlock of the deceased and her husband both are alive in this backdrop it can not be said that the deceased was annoyed with her husband therefore she committed suicide the trial court has rightly rejected the contention of the appellants on this aspect no interference is required in the finding of the trial court on this issue also the trial court finding 
that letters itself demonstrate the cruelty and harassment caused by the accused is also correct. If she deceased was not medically examined earlier regarding injuries caused by the accused, then also the prosecution story on this basis in the bride burning case cannot be doubted. Stop.